day once again so I am back with another video my candle is already lit which means I am already ready to go and jump straight into this video so in my last video I spoke about cutting out toxic people in your life and my last point was determining if you are that toxic person in someone else's life or your own life so this video that I'm gonna do right now is going to help you detoxify all those toxic demons that are inside of you, get rid of them, and free your mind and free your spirit and become a better person, okay? One, start by admitting to yourself that you are toxic and that you have adapted to this some kind of toxic aura around you the first step to cleansing yourself is to admit it to yourself like hey i'm toxic or hey i adapt to some kind of toxic spirit and i need cleansing say it out loud say it to yourself I have become toxic once you admit that to yourself your brain will be processing like okay she said it out loud she knows what's happening he or she and she needs cleansing Two, write down you know I'm always with my little book write down anything that any toxic thing that you have done because when you get it out on paper you could actually write some solutions on how to fix that, but write it down. Now what I have written down is, I isolate myself from people for no reason. And that's one of my bad traits. I will admit it, that is one of my bad traits. I isolate myself from people a lot. I like to be alone most of the time. But I only do that when it's necessary. And sometimes I do it when it's not necessary. And that's a toxic trait that I have. And I need to work on that. So whatever toxic trait you have, you can comment it in the comments below. But make sure to write it down on a piece of paper so that you know for sure what toxic things that you have done towards other people. Three, you can start by doing a mental cleanse. Like getting rid of the social media for like a few days to a week or two or even longer if you're strong enough to go longer delete the app log out do what it takes to clean your mind sometimes social media and the social scene gives us that toxic that toxicity that we don't want to see and it comes out of us anything that you eat it comes out of you right so when you inhale some kind of toxicity what's gonna come out toxic toxic shit is gonna come out of you so delete the apps for a while and see what happens you know nothing hurts unless you try it so try it out and see delete them apps and see what happens as time goes by four you can do a healthy cleanse as in a vegan challenge a vegetarian challenge a water fast or anything that you feel comfortable with but do not eat toxic food what you put in is what you get out literally so once you eat some healthy foods like right now i'm eating an apple <laughs> i have some tea right here some ginger you can't see i have some ginger tea some ginger and basil tea with a little bit of honey and um, yeah, we'll do a cleanse. Wait, let me eat this. <laughs> so yeah, do a little healthy cleanse and it'll put your mind at ease. Once you put all those good minerals inside your body, what's going to come out? Something good. So I do recommend that you do that. Mm. Ooh, five. Start by working out every morning. I actually just started back to work out because I did take three weeks off of working out. And working out does not only help you look good, it helps you feel good. It helps your mind at ease. It helps you clean yourself out from within. 
And if you already been working out like in the mornings, you know, you can switch up your routine because sometimes when you do something over and over and over, it'll have no effect on you efficiently. So if you switch it up, you know that you can get that new energized feeling and you can feel new again. So I do suggest doing some workouts in the morning. You can take a walk if you would like to. Take a walk, take a jog or work out and get that inside of you. And oh, I love taking walks because walks, you know, it cleanses my mind. It clears my mind. I can just look at nature and say, wow, I'm really here. Cleaning myself out physically with the world around me, looking at all the beautiful stuff in the world. Or if you don't want to take a walk, you know, work out, go to the gym or work out in your home. And just get yourself energized because once you get that power inside of you, you'll feel so good and cleansed and clean and in the process of detoxing yourself. Telling you. Six. <laughs> Take care of yourself externally. Do some facial masks. Go get your lashes done. Go get your nails done. I don't really do those stuff, but get your hair did. Get your eyebrows did. But what I really do love for myself is doing facial masks. I feel like a whole new person when I get my face done. And my hair. I love getting my hair did. I love fixing up my hair. So skin and hair is my go-to but i know a lot of you girls love to do other things you know you can get your nails done get a new tattoo get a new piercing make yourself feel new when you make yourself feel new it's like oh my god something new and you will actually feel better about yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror like damn this is something new about me i look good and you know that's the best thing when you feel you look good you're going to actually feel good from inside and you won't be toxic. You need to show yourself that toxic is out and beautiful is back in style, okay? So do what you need to do externally to make yourself look good. Both, 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 hey, 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 hey. Seven, meditate. Oh my God. Meditation is one of the best things on this list to detoxify your soul spiritually. Your mind, your body, your soul, when you just meditate right there, you'll feel so good. I'm telling you, get yourself in the lotus position. Let me get myself in that position right now. So, get yourself in the lotus position. We all know how to do it. And just breathe in and breathe out for about five minutes. Just keep your mind at ease like this. Calming, soothing sensation. And what you can do, what I'm playing is some jazz soul music in the background but what you can actually do is do it in some silence and let your mind flow and wander let your mind just go blank for a few seconds a few minutes actually let your mind go blank and just breathe in breathe out inhale exhale Inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit. That's my go-to. Inhale the bullshit, exhale the... Inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit. And you'll feel good. What you can actually do as well is play some ocean sounds in the background or play some nature in the background with some birds chirping, some trees swaying play some jazz or soul music in the background or I like to also play some Erica Badu or some Sonder, Brent Fayez in the background or you can actually just go blank. Nothing there, just 
feel good. Eight, and my last point is apologize to those people that you were toxic to. I know it's gonna be hard apologizing, but apology is one of the most accurate ways of knowing if you have detoxified yourself. If you can just pick up the phone or walk up to somebody and say, hey, I'm sorry for what I did to you a few months ago. I was going through a very toxic time in my life and I just want to say I'm sorry for making you feel less about yourself or making you feel like you weren't important to my life or making you feel any kind of way. Just say I'm sorry. And once you do that, you know you have completed your detoxifying process of becoming a better you. So I do hope that these tips may or may, may and can and will help anyone who is going through a, detox, a, a toxic part of their life. We may all be there, we may not, but I know sometimes I go through some toxic parts of, sometimes I am toxic, I will admit, sometimes I can be a toxic person, but I love to, you know, heal myself and then realize that sometimes what I do is not good, not good, so admit, do apologize and become a better you see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment share subscribe all of that bye